Hi, this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this video, we will crochet the tulip mandala. Uh, this is my own design and it is really easy to uh, crochet. Uh, you can mix and match these uh, different colors to make the uh, your tulips and it measures about ten and a half inches in diameter and to crochet this mandala you can use all these different types of yarns and threads so my main color is Aunt Lydia's crochet thread size 3 and this one is uh, natural and then for the petals, I use Lion brand cotton bonbons, the yellow, pink and lilac. And uh, these uh, little balls come in this packet of eight bonbons by Lion brand. And the weight size is fine too. The packet is called Nature. For the leaves, I use Peyton's Grace cotton and this one is light size 3. And my crochet hook is 3 millimeters and this hook is also called tulip. So perfect for my tulip mandala. And let's get started. And starting with my main color, make a slip knot, chain six, and slip stitch in first chain to make a ring. Now we'll do 12 half double crochet stitches in the ring. The first one is two chains. And now 11 more half double crochets. Finish the round with a slip stitch in second beginning chain. Round two, first chain three, and this counts as first half double crochet and one chain. Then half double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, half double crochet in the next. Chain one and repeat. To finish this round after last chain, slip stitch in second beginning chain. And third round is single crochets. Chain one and single crochet in same stitch, then single crochet next chain space, then single crochet next stitch, next space, and the next stitch. And repeat, you have 24 single crochets. Finish this round, slip stitch in first single crochet and now I will cut off the main color, fasten off and I will join my green for the first round of leaves. So this is uh, round four. 
make a slip knot I will join it here in the same first stitch where I just did the slip stitch so now pull the slip knots through and chain four two three four this counts as first half double crochet and two chains and now half double crochet in that same stitch then skip one next stitch and half double crochet in the next chain two half double crochet in the same stitch skip next stitch and half double crochet in the next chain two and repeat half double crochet in same stitch skip next stitch and half double crochet in the next chain two and half double crochet in the same stitch and after last half double crochet here is my last stitch here to skip I will finish this round with a slip stitch in a second beginning chain and I will cut off my green yarn fasten off And next round five I'm going to make the first round of petals with my yellow so I made slip knot and I'm going to join it with a single crochet stitch in this first chain space right here make a single crochet now chain one and we'll make three double crochet cluster so start the first double crochet in that same space but don't finish leave last two loops and hook start the second double crochet don't finish start the third double crochet and now you have four loops on hook yarn over and pull through all of them first petal then chain two and now go into that next chain space skipping half double crochets in the next space repeat make single crochet one chain and then three double crochet cluster start first double crochet don't finish start the second then start the third and now we have four loops on hook pull through all of them chain two and same in the next chain space start with one single crochet one chain and the cluster this is this repeats now all around and 
finished all the petals and last two chains we finished this round with a slip stitch in our first single crochet and cut off the yarn fasten off Next three rounds are with main color. We already made slip knot. And I'm going to uh, join it with single crochet stitch in this first two chain space. And now make two half double crochets in the same space. then chain two and I'll go into the next chain space skipping these stitches here next two chain space single crochet and two half double crochets and this repeats chain two next two chain space single crochet Two half double crochets and after the last two chains finish the round with a slip stitch in first single crochet to start the next round first slip stitch in that next half double crochet step now chain three and this counts as first half double crochet and one chain then half double crochet in that next chain space skipping this this stitch one then chain one and second same space chain one now skip the single crochet and half double crochet in that next half double crochet chain one skip that second half double crochet in the next chain space make one half double crochet chain one and one more chain one and repeat make half double crochet in this middle stitch here chain one then half double crochet in the next chain space chain one half double crochet in the same space chain one To finish this round after last chain slip stitch in second beginning chain next round chain two uh, this is the first half double crochet and now half double crochet in each chain space and in each stitch And you will have 72 half double crochets on this round. And finish this round also with a slip stitch in second beginning chain. Now cut off 
Kita try. Next round is going to be the leaves again. So I made slip knot with my green. And I'm going to join it in that same stitch where I just did the slip stitch. So pull it through. And now chain four. This is the first half double crochet and two chains. Then half double crochet in the same stitch. And now skip two stitches. One, two, half double crochet in the next. Chain two, half double crochet in the same stitch. Skip two, one, two, half double crochet in the next. And repeat, chain two, half double crochet in the same stitch, then skip two, half double crochet in the next. Finish this round same way, slip stitch in that second beginning chain, then cut off yarn, fasten off, and I will do my second round of petals with pink and same as here on this round I'm going to join my pink color with a single crochet stitch in this first chain space chain one, then three double crochet cluster, chain two, skip these half double crochets and single crochet next chain space, chain one and a cluster. Chain two and repeat. To finish this round after last two chains slip stitch in that first single crochet cut off and fasten off Next three rounds are with main color and we repeat the round six, seven and eight. So the same way, join the main color in the first two chain space with single crochet stitch. Then make two half double crochet stitches in same space. Chain two, skip.
skip this and go in the next chain space single crochet one and two half double crochets then two chains To finish this round, slip stitch in first single crochet and the next round it's a little different than the seventh round. First slip stitch in the next uh, stitch, the middle stitch here, then chain three. This is first half double crochet and one chain. Then in the next two chain space, make two half double crochets. Then chain one and half double crochet in that next half double crochet. So skip single crochet, half double crochet in this stitch. Chain one. Skip next half double crochet in the next two chain space, two half double, two half double crochets. Chain one, skip single crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet. Chain one, skip next stitch, two chain space, two half double crochets. And repeat chain one, one half double crochet here, chain one, two half double crochets here. And to finish this round, slip stitch in a second beginning chain. And the next round, chain two, this is the first half double crochet. Now half double crochet in each chain space and in each stitch. One, two, one in a chain space, one in a stitch. It's the chain space. Now two stitches. And when you count, you will have 120 half double crochets on this round. And again, finish the round with slip stitch in second beginning chain and then cut off thread next is the last round with green leaves I made slip knots I will join it again in this last stitch where I just did slip stitch Pull the slip knot through from behind, then chain four. This is a uh, first half double crochet in two chains and half double crochet in the same stitch. Then skip two stitches one, two, half double crochet in the next chain two. 
half double crochet in the same skip two half double crochet chain two half double crochet same stitch and repeat Finish the round with slip stitch in the beginning second chain and cut off and last round I will join my lilac color yarn for the third round of petals and same way single crochet stitch in this first two chain space then chain one three double crochet cluster Two chains and next space chain uh, single crochet chain and cluster two chains and repeat in each chain space And finish the round slip stitch in a first single crochet cut off yarn and when you count you have 42 lips here on this round And now two last rounds with main color. I will join it here in this first two chain space with single crochet. So this round repeats uh, round six. Then I'll do two half double crochets in same space. Chain two skip these stitches in the next two chain space single crochet two half double crochets chain two next space one single crochet two half double crochets and repeat Finish this round, slip stitch in a first single crochet, and our last round uh, the border. And to start this, I'm going to first slip stitch in that next half double crochet, And then chain one and make single crochet in that same stitch. 
next make a double crochet in this next chain two chain space so skip this stitch double crochet here chain two and double crochet in the same stitch space now skip the single crochet and make single crochet in that next half double crochet stitch and we don't stitch here this one skip that and double crochet in the next two chain space chain two double crochet in the same space and this repeats single crochet in that next half double crochet double crochet in the next chain space chain two double crochet same space single crochet in the, this middle stitch and again double crochet chain two double crochet And finish the last round after last double crochet slip stitch in our first single crochet and cut off And it's now finished. Next, need to weave in all these ends here. And uh, it is in quite good shape, but I still uh, would like to uh, block it. So uh, I first make it wet and then place it on my blocking mats and attach with pins. And then you can stretch it and use a little uh, spray starch and then let it dry and i will show you how i block my mandala And here is my finished tulip mandala. Uh, I hope you have fun making your own. You will find the written pattern link in video description box. Thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.